to rock and roll Robert Gibson out against Mr. Wonderful Paul Orndorff and this should be a barn burner. Orndorff barely slipping by Tim Horner in the first round without the use of his pile driver and Gibson looks like he's on a roll field. This should be a hot one. In that match you were talking about earlier with Horner, he went almost uh, 19 and a half minutes of a 20 minute match before he pulled out the win. So he has got to be feeling this. That plus Gibson had his knee worked on so both of them are not in tip top shape as we go into this you, match. You saw, you saw Orndorff go for that single leg, tried the leg dive, Robert scooted out of the way. Orndorff had backed him into that corner and gone for the single leg. So he'll be shooting for that knee. He'll be trying to take that knee away from him. Kicked him right, kicked the pins right out from under him. And Robert, on the other side of the ring from us, is most assuredly favoring that knee now. And Orndorff taking full advantage of, his, of the referee's count to do more damage. And for the fans who are joining us on Smoky Mountain Championship Wrestling, we want to remind you that we are in the second round of the Volunteer Slam Tournament, and we've had six exciting matches so far. Robert hobbling now. Orndorff moving right and going to work on that leg again, and again to the knee. He's trying to stretch those ligaments. You gotta give Robert a lot of credit. He's game, he's hanging in there, he's playing it tough, Phil. He took a lot of punishment from the last match. Orndorff with a series of elbows into the, into the knee and a looping upper right hand that catches Gibson in the chin and straightens him up. Robert telling the referee not to touch the leg. It must be sensitive at this point, and rightly so. Robert trying to maintain balance, stay on his feet. Orndorff moving in. Orndorff is what you call a money ball player. He sees the goal line, he senses a chance to put him away and he's not gonna give him an inch, Phil. Like you said earlier, Les, he is going to be the Smoky Mountain heavyweight champion. He came in here with that idea and so far, his game plan has been successful. Absolutely, but of course, we've seen several gentlemen tonight fall by the wayside who had that same game plan in mind. Tim Horner won, it was eliminated. Dixie Dynamite eliminated. Jimmy Golden. Buddy Landell, all right. top flight athletes, all top wrestlers. And they have held belts in this area too. Yes, sir. Whoa! Paul oh. oh, paying too much attention to the fans, not enough to Gibson, and Robert opens up on him. And Robert now putting Orndorff to the test. Well, you can't let your emotions run away with you. You've got to keep your eye on the bullseye. Smart move on Gibson's part. A couple of short steps. He knew he couldn't go too far. Got the little clothesline. And let's see if those legs are going to hold up for him. Orndorff and a reversal again. Yeah. Robert. Orndorff hooked the arm. And Robert couldn't balance himself. The knee give out on him. Couldn't bring him over with a hip. Bulldog. And Orndorff gets a foot on the rope. Good move on Gibson's part. He saw him coming, he countered with the Bulldog, had a chance to pin him, but they were too close to the ropes. Orndorff got the leg over the bottom strand, and now, wait a minute, whoa! Took it out from under him. Submarine tackle on that left leg. Got him rolled up, and, and the there it is. A three count, your winner, and moving to the final round is Paul Orndorff. He wins over Robert Gibson.